As I've said before, mainstream media is essentially like a church, which includes all of the bad things that come with being in a high position, in a position of power. People in positions of power, eventually, not, not everyone, but uh, there will be the people that ruin it for the rest, who will abuse that power unless we have some things in place to keep them in check, whether it's pastors, police, politicians, actors, CEOs, and many, many others. But first we need to realize how widespread it is. There is easily just as much pedophilia and sexual assault in Hollywood and other parts of mainstream media as there is in the Catholic Church. And I think it all needs to be exposed. Exposing this stuff is actual, real social justice in modern industrialized countries. Once you realize that media is like a church, which teaches the gospel of consumerism, and in time, as legacy media starts to crumble, they're going to find more and more ruthless ways of going about it, it makes you want to have very little part of it. It does me anyway. It's legacy media, which will probably be gone within 10 years, but we'll see. I would be surprised if it was still around, in its current form anyway. I'd say it was by the latter 90s, which I've said before, we started building on this formulaic way of approaching the entire entertainment industry, which includes news media. When it comes to movies and programs, it's all about refining instead of creating something new. When it comes to news, don't do that hard work that a journalist is supposed to do to get their story. Because it's all about entertainment. Pacify the populace. Make sure they continue to be good consumers. And hope that we don't pay attention to things that are slowly eroding our rights. <laughs>